Hello everyone and welcome to my channel Kiwi's Collectibles. I'm Pam and today I'm going to take you along with me as I visit the Camden Goodwill in Camden, South Carolina. I typically shop for my personal home decor and I like to shop to resell a few items in my two booths that I have locally here in Columbia, South Carolina. If you enjoy shop along videos, I would love to have you subscribe to my channel. Please like this video and leave me a comment below. Now, let's get ready. Grab your coffee, grab your tea, and let's go thrifting. Right away, I found this beautiful lamp base. I love the colors, I love the flowers that were on this, and the lamp was in really good shape. It was only missing its harp and lampshade, and I wasn't sure if I wanted to make that investment, so I left this one behind. Then I noticed this beautiful teapot. I like the shape of this teapot, and those roses were gorgeous. I didn't see a maker's mark on the bottom. Next, I saw this beautiful plate. Perhaps it was a bread plate. It was lusterware, and by the looks of this tag, it has been in an antique shop before. But check this out. Look how cute this is. It's a bell that was made in Japan exclusively for Elizabeth Arden's Orient Express line. I love her little legs at the bottom. And check out this metal can. It's actually a game. It's called the Game of Baloney. And it says on the front, it's made for two to six liars, aged eight to adult. I bet that's a fun game to play. And of course, I'm drawn to the brass candlesticks, but yes, I'm still on restriction. So I'm gonna have to leave these two behind. And then I noticed these, they were nice but a little plain for my taste. I then saw this pink depression glass bowl. It looked like it should have a lid to it. Maybe it was a candy dish. And another gorgeous piece of brass that I'm having to just restrain myself. And if you need garden seeds, you get them at Goodwill. Anyone can recognize this quickly as an Avon piece. And this piece looks like it's maybe a hamster or a gerbil house for their habitat. Maybe it's for a reptile or it could even be a toad house. And of course, I always love to find the Chinese checkers sets. This one is not vintage, so I left this one behind for someone else. You always have to look behind things and around things, and I spotted this pretty plate. It was only 95 cents. It would be great for a plate wall. And this caught my eye this hand-painted beautiful vase. Now I did notice that the hand painting had some scrapes and scratches, some paint loss, unfortunately, but it still was quite beautiful. And up top, this little salt or pepper shaker caught my eye. It's from Niagara Falls, and I've never been there. If you've been to Niagara Falls, let me know down in the comments below. And check out this beautiful jewelry box. I love the images of the birds on the front. It's a great little brass and glass box to keep all of your beautiful jewelry in. And of course, this is another piece of Avon. 
it's easily recognizable. And this little vase is pretty typical, something you could find in Home Goods. But check this out. This took me a minute. I had to go through all of this. This is a sewing box and it had lots of goodies still inside. Lots of little threads. Those did not pique my interest at all. So I decided I needed to take it down a little bit further so I could go through it. Here we've got some patches, maybe some needles. And this is where my interest peaked. I was like, oh, lots of thread. Hmm, not here, but here. Look at these spools, wooden spools. Some of them were vintage, some of them not. And this case was really fun. You could use it for lots of other things if you're not into sewing. Pretty cool. And of course, this caught my eye as well. I love these little metal boxes. I don't know why, but I always like to check them out. This was a pretty wall hanging, or actually it's something for your window. It has that chain and it's like one of those sun catchers. This magazine rack has an interesting look. It has that mid-century modern feel to it with the black, metal, and brass. Then on those top racks that holds lots of goodies in the Camden store, I found this ISIL heating pad. This is definitely vintage, you can tell by the box. And I wasn't able to find anything about ISIL online, so if you know anything about this company, let me know. And then of course, I found Chrissy. We used to have the Chrissy doll that had the red hair, and you pull the hair out, and then you can wind it back up with that little knob there. And so she has short hair, she has long hair, and she does have her markings on the back that says 1971. I don't know about her clothes though. And then I found this belt buckle. I loved this. Has that striking eagle's head. I'm not sure that belt buckles are highly valued though. And then I noticed this sleeping cat. This is so pretty. It has that chip on its head and it looks to be someone's personal hobbyist piece. They did a great job though. I'm not sure what this piece is all about, but he certainly was a cutie. These tricked me. I thought they were brass planters, but turns out they were plastic and spray painted. And this is just one bookend I found. I really like this one though. And this piece was pretty interesting. It was plastic and it was just a cute little jewelry box. That would be great for traveling. These were really pretty, but they were huge tapestry type Christmas ornaments. Y'all, look at this. This is the sweetest little picture. It's a tiny canvas. 
I don't know if it's acrylic or what type of media, but I loved it. Although this is some type of bakeware, if you are a child of the late 70s and definitely 1980, you know this as a hat for what group they sang a song that you need to whip it good. Let me know that group down below in the comments. I decided to purchase the Elizabeth Arden Bell. I just loved her look. She had that Dutch Holland feel to her and I just thought her legs were something so cute and I am gonna try to sell her in my booth. I also couldn't leave behind this beautiful picture. It is about five by four and it might be an oil painting, I'm not sure, but it was just so precious, so eye-catching, and I had to have it, and I will probably try to frame this and sell it in my booth. And that's all that I purchased today. Thanks for shopping along with me. I hope you enjoyed our shopping trip, and if you did, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel. Please leave me a comment down below, and give me a thumbs up for this video. So until next time, everyone, bye-bye.